remembers the Wii Mini? Well, the Wii Mini finally got hacked after seven years. Now, the Wii Mini wasn't really that popular. As most of you guys might know, it doesn't have internet access and it doesn't have SD card support. It was more of a Wii made for like kids or families that just wanted to play Mario Kart or something like that. If you were a serious Wii player, um, you probably would have just got one of your normal Wiis. But yeah, the Wii Mini has finally got hacked with Blue Bomb. So Blue Bomb is a basically a Wii Mini hacking software and um, basically Basically, I'm going to read this article on Wololo. Um, unfortunately, I cannot hack the Wii Mini. There's a few reasons why. Um, you actually need a Linux computer to do this. You also need a Wii Mini itself. Um, it's kind of sad because I did see a Wii Mini at a car boot sale uh, maybe like a year ago for £10. I wish I bought it now. If I did buy it, obviously I would have been able to hack it now. The reason why I didn't buy it is because um, I just thought it was kind of useless. The size of the console is very nice. Um, but obviously, if it's got no internet and no SD card support, um, then they're pretty much how people hack stuff. If you guys look at every single console, you know, 3DS, PS Vita, PSP, they either get hacked via the SD cards, the USB connection, the internet, um, but the Wii Mini didn't really have any of this stuff, so it was really hard to hack. But let's just read this and um, let's see what it says. Due to numerous reasons, ranging from the lack of interest to a small attack surface, sometimes it appears that a console might never get hacked and the Wii Mini was a prime candidate. Now the Wii Mini has finally been hacked, a staggering seven years after its initial release. That is a very long time. Normally consoles get hacked maybe one or two years. In this article, we'll also be taking a quick look at some of the recent updates. Okay, I won't talk about the Switch stuff because as, as we all know, Switch stuff gets deleted off my channel, unfortunately. But it says that the original Wii was released back in November 2006 and has been hacked and even fully emulated for many years um, with a pretty briefy homebrew library. The homebrew library on the Wii is very, very good. Fast forwarding six years to 2012, so the Wii Mini is not really that old, I guess. What? What's that? Um, seven years? It's, it's about seven years old, so not really too bad right now. Um, Nintendo released the Tired Coloured Wii Mini, which was effectively a normal Wii, but without many features, including GameCube support and only one USB port. So um, it also didn't have no internet and it does not have SD card support, which is probably the reason why not many people actually wanted it. So Wii hacks such as Letterbomb and Flash hacks were rendered useless. When Flash hacks first came out, I thought, oh wow, this might be able to work on the Wii Mini. And then I realized it didn't have internet support, so you couldn't even do Flash hacks on it. Um, but yeah, it was left unhackable for many years. But this all changed thanks to Full Metal 5 and what he did, he found some kind of exploit in the console's Bluetooth stack. Um, he found it under like three weeks ago and he's actually got it working and um, he's actually released it. He's called it Blue Bomb, which is a complete hack allowing you to get Hack Me on your console and install the Homebrew channel so you can enjoy the full hacked Wii experience. Now, if you're into Wii hacking, I'm pretty sure you would have the normal Wii, but this is very, very cool. Maybe you just want to do this as a fun project. The Wii Mini is a very nice size. It's very small. Um, furthermore, the exploit is also compatible on the regular Wii console. Oh, it is. Okay, I didn't even realize. Although using it takes more work than the letter bomb, so we owners should probably just stick with that exploit. Okay, um, oh, I didn't actually realize it was compatible. I might have to make a video on that in the future, and maybe in a few days. Um, to get the blue bomb and finally liberate your Wii Mini, check out this link and follow the instructions. A Linux computer is needed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to set that up. Um, in order to run the exploit on your system, make sure you have a live CD on hand. Okay, that's interesting. GBA Temp has advised to wait a bit for through any perma launches to NAND and current tools aren't tested. Okay, so this is very, very interesting. If you guys want to go ahead and follow the guide, there will be a link here. I'm gonna try and dig out one of my old Wiis and I'm gonna give this a try. I first need to install Linux. I need to get that up and running on my PC, but this is gonna be interesting to see what happens. Um, so yeah, there is a full guide here. If you guys would like to go ahead and try this yourself, feel free to do it. Um, I'm gonna also give this a test on my regular Wii and we're gonna see what happens, but there you go. Wii Mini finally hacked after seven years. Very cool news. I always like it when Nintendo's consoles get hacked. Um, I'm a, I'm a fan of Nintendo consoles and their games and their work. I'm just not a fan of the how the company runs and maybe the decisions they make. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.